There's so much of the past in today's Lebanon. Front lines from the civil war that ended in 1990 still separate communities. A divide that continues to play out in the streets and the political arena. Now, two of the fiercest adversaries are the main players in the newly elected parliament. Samir Jaja, the head of the Christian Lebanese forces, who has been the most vocal critic of Hezbollah, accusing its military wing of undermining the Lebanese state and implementing Iran's agenda. We are not ready to compromise with our political platform. We will coordinate with the pro-reformers and others in the opposition to chart the way forward. Hezbollah, which says its weapons are to defend Lebanon from Israel and other threats, was stripped of its majority in parliament. Its leader, Hassan Nasrallah, acknowledging that. The priority should be issues affecting people's lives, and this can't be done without cooperation and partnership, because the alternative is chaos and vacuum. But negotiating a deal on the makeup of the next government won't be easy. Hezbollah has made clear it won't accept demands by the opposition for a cabinet of experts to rescue the collapsed economy. It insists on political representation. Hezbollah has many enemies, chief among them Samir Jaja, who Nasrallah has repeatedly accused of wanting to start a civil war. But in his first post-election speech, Nasrallah called for calm and called on his supporters not to chant sectarian slogans and not to provoke others who have different political views. Not too long ago, blood was spilled onto the streets. For hours, Hezbollah allied fighters and supporters of the Lebanese forces turned part of Beirut into a battleground. We have to put our hands together as Lebanese, because as the results of the elections show, no one can eliminate the other. Hezbollah's weapons dominated political campaigns before the vote, which the group called its most important political battle. It may have lost this round, but it is still the main power broker here. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.